Hi, I'm Joanna Kalal. I'm a sophomore at Lincoln High. And this is my poem called Colored History. All the bills are three months late. A burnt out light bulb mistaken for the last light I'll see in a while, heat ebbing slowly out of my home, leaving trails like roots. I'm shivering. It's not because frost covers my skin, but rage fills my heart. I was never told it was going to be like this. Lack of money and more melanin in my skin wasn't supposed to dictate my happiness. Keep it captive like a seed without sunlight, like a bird without wings. Lines at the city mission weren't supposed to get longer. The weariness in my mom's face wasn't supposed to be permanent. The death of an entire culture was never meant to happen. Natives weren't supposed to be pushed off on foreign lands in bedless rooms with the same holes in the ceiling that marked my childhood. In those times, the sweet caress of lullabies never put me to bed, and the tender touch of fairy tales never tucked me in, but I was told stories of a far-off land whose towering pyramids have long since crumbled. Mayan cities encasing millennium's worth of culture ransacked, the royal family of Tecun decimated, and rubble lies where an empire thrived. Genocide is now commercialized. The stories are repeat. Same one as last night, yet I still feel my dad's sorrow digging deep into my bones. No one else will hear this story. Just a twisted version, mass printed onto textbooks, blurring the lines between propaganda and truth, weaving a tale about the glory of white invaders sitting on thrones, but for brown skin nobility. Hollow cheeks and empty stomachs don't matter to an except those who live through it. The forgotten corpses lying under these spiraling towers are proof of that but mass graves with nameless bodies piled in them are also the foundation of this country built on top of bone instead of concrete and it runs off the sweat of my family leaving our hands scarred, hearts scarred, yearning for a homeland we've been forsaken from money slips through our fingers like the soil of the seeds we've planted eventually plants will blossom and reach heights unimaginable. And we're trying so desperately to grow with them. Broken heaters and freezing temperatures aren't enough to ice over the remnant fire still glowing within. Decades of being turned down at every border, forcibly manhandled to the model mold of a citizen has not broken our spirit yet because we're a diaspora of people, frantically trying to tend the wound of our torn off wings while pale faces taunt us as we relearn how to fly. Everyone tells us that we don't belong here. But white foreigners still feast off the bloody dirt of my people. 